A lot of students have been asking me how to find out what they need to get on their final assignments or tests to pass a course. Sometimes students think that just because they failed a paper they are going to fail the course. This belief is not true. Let me show you how to calculate what you need to pass a course. In order to find out what you need to pass a course you will need to know how much of the final mark each assignment is worth. Typically Things are not all weighted the same, meaning that averaging out your marks will not tell you how you are doing in the course. For example, failing an assignment worth 10% of your final mark will have much less of an impact than failing one worth 40%. You will also need to know what your marks are so far in the course and what mark you want to get. Here is the formula I use to calculate what students need to pass a course. Simply put, the mark you want out of 100 minus the marks you have earned will give you what you need to earn. Before using this formula, you need to make sure you are working with the right numbers. If you look in your course outline, guidelines, or syllabus, you will find out how much of your final mark each assignment is worth. For this example, let's pretend a course mark is broken down into an essay worth 25%, another essay worth 35%, participation worth 5%, a test worth 15% and a reflection worth 20%. Let's pretend that these are someone's marks in this class so far. Note that only 65% of the course has been completed. Before using the formula, all percentages must be converted into a grade out of the associated assignment weighting or the formula will not work. To find out how much of the final mark has been earned, first you need to convert the percentage into a decimal by dividing by 100. Then Take the weight of the assignment and multiply it by the decimal from step 1. Now you have the numbers needed to use the formula. If your marks are given to you out of what the assignment is worth, you can skip this step. Now that the calculations are completed, let's use the formula. Let's use 60 as a pass in the course, and we will put that number in the mark desired space. Then we will enter the current marks. We will put them in brackets so we remember to calculate that first. Now. Just follow the order of operations to calculate what you need to pass. Note that the number you get is not a percentage. It can be easily converted into a percentage by dividing by the weighting of what is left in the course. It may be a good idea to set up a spreadsheet to do these calculations for you. That way, you can easily play around with the numbers to see where you stand in a course. Here is another quick example using the same assignment weighting but different marks. If we put these numbers into the formula, we see that this person only needs 42% on the rest of the course to pass. If we put another set of numbers into the formula and change the desired mark to 80, we see that this person needs 80% on the rest of the course to get a final grade of 80. Try putting your marks into the formula to see what you need to pass or to get a higher mark in your course. Sometimes, knowing where you stand in a course can ease some anxiety going into a test. If you don't have all your marks, take an educated guess for things that you've already handed in. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know how it has helped you and what else you would like to see. To be notified when more helpful videos are posted, please subscribe.